right, hi everybody. Welcome back to our weekly live stream. My name is Alicia, and today we're going to talk about how to learn English on your commute. I will give you some ideas for your studies that you can use on your way to work or on your way to school, and of course, on the way home as well. So today will be just some study ideas, some methods that you can consider. I'm going to cover some ideas, whether you go by bus or by train or you drive a car, or even if you work from home, maybe just a couple of ideas to consider to start and end your day. So we're going to cover uh, reading and writing and speaking and listening ideas. And of course, if you have some ideas, please feel free to send those in the chat as well. So we will take a couple of minutes to get our uh, videos set up everywhere. So as you join, please make sure to like and share the video so that other people can find today's lesson. And of course, send a message along in the chat and we will try to get everything going in just a minute. Uh, Facebook is maybe loading. Uh, if you're, let's see, I think I'll just cover a couple other things while we wait. Uh, oh, that looks like, oh, that's last week's. Uh, while we wait, a uh, couple of announcements. First announcement, one, is our Black Friday sale. We have a special Black Friday sale on this year. It is 51% off plans on our website. So please check out the link below the video if you're watching on YouTube or above the video if you're watching on Facebook to get 51% off our plans at EnglishClass101.com. All right, I see some people in the YouTube chat now. Hi, everybody on YouTube. Uh, I think we're getting Facebook set up still, so we'll be just a couple minutes. As I said, today's topic is how to learn English on your commute. Mm. Are we having a Facebook hiccup? If we can restart, that's cool too. Mm. Since it's online, oh, okay. Interesting. Interesting. All right. We're having a small hiccup. Hopefully it's okay. Uh, can I talk about the graphic here? Is that okay? Mm. Okay. So uh, while we wait to uh, get our uh, connections going, one other quick announcement, another quick update is about our weekly Q&A series, the uh, Ask Alicia series. I shared this on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook this week, uh, but this is a screenshot uh, of the most recent episode that's out on the English Class 101 YouTube channel. If you don't know about this series, you can send me your questions, your grammar or your culture, your vocabulary related questions, uh, and I'll choose, I'll choose some of them every week and make a video to answer those questions. So if you have not checked this out yet, please make sure to have a look. It is out every week uh, on the English Class 101 YouTube channel or on our website. Alrighty, so uh, I think we're good to go, perhaps. We're looking at it. <coughs> Excuse me. We're checking out our Facebook feed right now to make sure the video is okay. I see it. Ooh, I see the Facebook feed, so I think that we're set. So I am going to share the Facebook feed, boom, and get started on today's lesson. Yay, there we are. Hi, Facebook. Sorry, I couldn't see you. We had a little bit of a slow connection there. Great. So let's get started. Everybody's here. Now I see lots of people in the chat. Yay. <laughs> Very good. I'm glad. So uh, I didn't say hi to everybody on YouTube. Mustafa, Jao, uh, number one, Russer. Hello, Salal. And on Facebook, everyone's there. Max, Mohammed, Emma, Laid, Malika. Hello, everybody. Great. Okay, everyone is here so we can get started. Fantastic. Let's begin uh, today's topic, how to learn English. And if you missed the beginning, Facebook might have been a little slow in the beginning. If you missed it, today's topic is how to learn English during your commute. If you have not already, please do make sure to like and share today's lesson. Okie dokie, let's get started. So first, I want to talk about uh, some listening and some speaking ideas uh, for maybe those of you who drive a car or you have some kind of private space where you can practice on your way to and from work. So first idea, first study idea is to listen to and repeat after audio lessons, audio lessons. So uh, for those of you who have an account on our website at English Class 101, uh, you can 
download and listen to our audio lessons. They're about uh, 10 or 15 minutes long. Some are a little bit shorter, some a bit longer. Uh, so if you have this kind of private space where you can actually repeat, like you're in the privacy of private space in your own car or maybe like in your house in the morning, uh, you can actually repeat after the lessons. If you don't have a private space, uh, maybe uh, you can just listen to the audio lessons. So some thoughts about this is first, uh, choose a lesson that's focused on a key expression or a specific target. So when you're choosing like which audio lesson to study during your commute, maybe it's better to choose a lesson that's focused on something like this, like some ideas might be how to introduce yourself. So how to say like my name is and so on, or how to order at a restaurant or how to talk about your hobbies. These are just a few ideas. The reason I would suggest uh, these kinds of lessons are because, if you're, especially if you're driving, uh, it's really important to focus on the road, right? So you want to make sure you can easily listen and repeat the information. Studying grammar, trying to think about grammar, might be a little bit difficult to do. So try to choose a specific target for the lesson. Like you're trying to, you have a specific uh, expression you're practicing, or you have like a specific uh, phrase or question that you're practicing. So choose a lesson that's focused on a key expression. Mm. Another idea is if your commute is 20 plus minutes, so 20 plus meaning 20 or more minutes, uh, then you can think about this idea. Do one new lesson. So you have a new lesson on your way, like, uh, like your first lesson is a new lesson. So a lesson you have not studied before. And then you do a review. So you review like uh, the previous day's lesson or you review an old lesson, something like that. So if you, if you have this time, you can give yourself the opportunity to learn something new, like a new expression, a new, a new phrase, a new question, and you have the opportunity to review something uh, from a previous study session. Mm. So this can be good if you have a longer commute or if you just have a little bit more time on your way to work or school, uh, or of course on the way home as well. <coughs> okay, uh, and then the last point here is just remember to review on your way home. So whatever lesson you listened to in the morning, consider listening to that lesson again on your way home. So like eight hours, nine hours later, 10 hours later, depending on your schedule. So uh, this is something you can do. As I said, of course, you can listen to it. Just listen to the lesson uh, if you're on like a train or a bus and there are other people around. But if you're in a car, you can actually speak, like repeat after the native speaker, repeat after the person uh, who's talking in the lesson. So some ideas, uh, you can check out, we have lessons, we have audio lessons on our website, of course, so please have a look at those. Uh, they are, if you don't know, at EnglishClass101.com. Uh, we do have audio lessons, lots and lots of audio lessons there, so please check those out. Some other ideas, uh, especially for like intermediate or advanced learners, some listening ideas are English news, English news, especially English news for learners. So if you Google just English news for learners or uh, English for learners, I'm sorry, English news sites for learners, you can find some resources online uh, where people will share the news, uh, but they use a specific English, a specific type of English uh, for learners, for people who are studying. So they'll introduce key vocabulary points, uh, idioms, and other expressions. Finally, uh, another cool idea is podcasts. Podcasts. If you don't know what a podcast is, a podcast is kind of like a radio show, but a podcast is made like by individual people. So you can choose a topic that's interesting to you and find a show about that. So you can do this like with your phone, like just with your smartphone, uh, if you have a smartphone, or even if you don't have a smartphone, 
Uh, you can uh, search for podcasts on like Apple Podcasts or Spotify or other podcast libraries, directories, and you can find a topic that suits your interest. Uh, so if you have, maybe if you have a podcast that you like, you can send it in the chat so other people can find it. So uh, if you have a recommendation for something you like to listen to, you can check that out. And oftentimes, podcasts have notes. There are like notes about each episode of the podcast. So you can check uh, maybe some of the key information in written form there. So that's another resource that you can consider. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's continue on. Facebook is saying that there's something silly with the live stream. I get a, I'm getting a couple comments on Facebook. I see, I see some comments on Facebook. We're working on it. Uh, so let's go. Let's see. We're about 10 minutes in. So let's take one quick break, and then we'll continue on uh, with part two for today's lesson. Mm. All right. Let's review this point. <laughs> Let's uh, here this week we're a little bit different. Uh, if you don't know, today, well, it's actually this week. This week is Thanksgiving in the U.S. and the day after is called Black Friday. Black Friday is a very popular shopping day uh, where there's a lot of sales uh, and lots of exciting deals. So we have a Black Friday sale as well. Uh, so we have for our for our programs on our website, you can get 51% off the plans on the website according to this banner here. So click the link in the description if you're watching on YouTube. Check out the link below the video on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, check the link above the video on Facebook. If you're watching on Instagram, please check YouTube or Facebook for the link. So uh, yes, this is the, I think one of the biggest sales that we do every year, actually. So please have a look if you're thinking about signing up uh, and you want to get some of the things, some of the things I've talked about here today, actually. Okay, uh, so let's see. I think we're okay then. I think Facebook looks okay. So I'll continue on then with part two for today's lesson. Uh, so if you're just joining, today's topic is how to learn during your commute, how to learn English or other languages on your commute. So I've talked about uh, learning with audio, uh, listening to an audio lesson or like uh, to news and to podcasts, and if you can, repeating after the native speakers. So let's go to part two then. Part two, uh, part two, <coughs> excuse me, is to use an app or a site to study vocabulary words. So app, uh, this word app, A-P-P, -P, app means application, a smartphone application. So you can use an app or a website, uh, some tool that you prefer to use to study vocabulary words. This is one that I did for a couple years uh, in the morning and at night, that's true. I had an app, I studied uh, Japanese uh, on my way to work and on my way home from work, uh, 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the evening because I knew vocabulary was my weak point. And this was so helpful for me. I learned new words every day and I could use them at work every day too. Uh, so this was personally really, really helpful for me every day. Some ideas. Uh, I've talked about this app, Anki, A-N-K-I. Anki is a free uh, flashcard app, a free flashcard and like a vocabulary, basically a study tool. So you can uh, choose I'll talk about in a moment. You can choose like a, a group of words uh, and you can study them inside Anki, this free tool. So when you use Anki, uh, you can choose like a, when you see a word appear in the app, you can say, yes, I know this word or uh, I don't really know this word or I totally don't know this word. And according to your answer, the software will remember uh, your like your level of uh, like ability to identify that word so it will show you the word again at a later time according to your answer so that's cool 
Also, of course, uh, if you don't know about our website, we do have stuff on our website too. At English Class 101, some of the features are free, so you don't have to have uh, a paid account to get access to some of these. The free things that we have, there are vocabulary lists. So if you go to the website and you click on vocabulary in the menu, you can choose vocabulary lists, vocabulary lists. So you can access the vocabulary lists for free. And you can access the 100 core words list for free too. So if you do that, you'll see uh, there's a picture for the vocabulary word or the expression. Uh, and there's also audio, so you can listen to that uh, as well. So these are a couple of ideas for places to study, uh, places to get vocabulary lists to study and how to study those. Hmm. Uh, so what you can do is when you, uh, when you are deciding what to study, what app or what site to use, choose a list of words or a list of phrases or a deck. So deck it comes from like a deck of cards. The word we use in English is a uh, deck, D-E-C-K. So that means one set, a group of playing cards. So uh, Anki, this software I talked about, they use what's called decks. It's like a group of vocabulary words or a group of phrases. Uh, but in other software, like we have vocabulary lists. So choose a list or choose a deck of words that you want to study. And <clears throat> you can choose from lists already available. So for example, we already have uh, a lot of vocabulary lists prepared that you can choose from, or you can make your own list. So if you want to make your own list, yes, it can take some time, uh, but you also have that ability to make your own list for something and create your own uh, kind of deck or your own group of words in your uh, vocabulary study app. Okay. Uh, I don't see specific questions to today's lesson. So let's continue on uh, to this point. I mentioned already, study on your way to and from work and school. So I mentioned it earlier, but when I was studying vocabulary, like really focusing on studying vocabulary, I would uh, study in the morning. I had an app. In my case, I was using a Japanese study app. Uh, I studied in the morning, like as soon as I got on my subway, my subway train, I, in the morning I started. And then when I arrived at my work, like my station, I stopped. And that was about 15 minutes in the morning. I did the same thing on my way home at night. So it seems like a short time, but in one day that's 30 minutes of study. And over the course of a week and over the course of months, that's a lot actually. So this was this strategy was super helpful for me to build my vocabulary. So I really, really like this. I can recommend this for improving your vocabulary. Someone, uh, Minhan said, write down myself. Yeah, if you if you can, like that's great to practice your writing too, to write the words as well. I think that's great. I guess it depends a little on what you want to focus on. If you want to just get new vocabulary in your head, uh, you can use just an app. If you want to practice the vocabulary and practice reading and writing with the vocabulary, sure. That sounds great, too. Okay. Oscar says, what does commute mean? Ah, commute. Commute means uh, your travel to and from work or school. So every day, many people have a commute to work or a commute to school. So commute, commute. I'll write it on the board. Your commute means uh, travel to and from work or school or other other obligations, maybe. So travel to and from work and school is your commute. Uh, other questions? Yes, someone says, how do I improve my English when commuting? That is today's lesson topic. <laughs> so please check out all of these tips for today. All right, uh, we're about 20 minutes in, so I guess I'll take one more break in case you missed it earlier. 
so in case you missed it, uh, today's uh, special, exciting thing is not PDFs as usual. We have our Black Friday sale. Our Black Friday sale uh, is 51% off the plans at EnglishClass101.com. So if you've been thinking about signing up, this is a really, really good chance to do that. Uh, so this is one of, I think, the biggest uh, sales that we have for the year. So please make sure to check this out. You can find the link for this uh, from below the video if you're watching on YouTube or above the video if you are watching on Facebook. Okay. Also, if you're watching on Instagram, sorry, I can't see your comments live, but please check out everything on YouTube or Facebook. Okay, uh, let's continue. Uh, time is going quickly, as always, to a couple more ideas. And in this section, especially for number four here, I hope that you can share a few ideas with everyone, too. Uh, <coughs> the first, or rather the third, the third idea for your commute is to read news sites in English to practice your reading skills. So I know, I know I do this all the time. Like I open Twitter and I check the news, but I check like English news, like my native language news. So a thing to consider is just to shift your thinking and start trying to read news articles in English, in your case, if you're learning English. So sometimes I do this, I'll try to read, focus and read in Japanese uh, something. So that's really helpful for me. Some ideas. If you want to look for something that you can read, you can try uh, like the BBC, you could try the New York Times, you could try CNN. Uh, these are all like uh, online, they have online uh, news articles. I put the BBC here first because the BBC has a program specifically for English learners. So you can find like video news and you can find written news articles uh, that have English specifically for people who are learning. So they share keywords, uh, they talk about <clears throat> special idioms, uh, they talk about special expressions. Uh, a thing to consider though, the BBC is British English, so the BBC will sound very different from me, for example. They have a different accent there. But you can read the articles, for sure, uh, but just keep in mind pronunciation uh, and some expressions are a little bit different uh, from American English. Uh, New York Times is an American publication, uh, as is CNN. These are both uh, American publications. Maybe if you, if anybody out there has something that they like as well, uh, they can suggest it and I will write it here. Uh, s which one do you recommend for beginners? For beginners, I would recommend you do a Google search. Uh, I mentioned it in topic in point number one today, but if you do uh, English, Google search this, English news for learners, English news for learners. There are a few, actually quite a few, a lot. There are a lot of services that provide uh, news articles at different levels. So check around to find something that suits your level. There are many different sites. You can check those out, see which is uh, maybe the best for you. So I recommend a Google search for this, Google English News for Learners. You can find a list of uh, publications of other services that have this. So I, sh I would suggest uh, you try this and find something that's good for you. Someone says for news, Julian says news in levels. Okay, news in levels sounds like a good one. Uh, other specific questions? I don't see any yet. Hello from Minnesota, Facebook. Okay, good. <laughs> so let's continue on then. Uh, if you have another suggestion, uh, send it in the chat. I'll try to write it here if I catch it. Uh, I want to conclude uh, my last idea, or really my last tip, is to get creative with your studies. So these are, of course, like tips one, two, and three today are fairly straightforward things that you can do, but I would encourage you to get creative with how you study and how you practice. And again, not just listening to things, not just reading things, but working on producing things. So 
These are tips that you can use if you're on a train or a bus or a subway, something you don't have to drive, right? You can read or you can uh, type in an app or something. Some other ideas. Uh, you can make a social media post. Uh, so a great example of this, I met a person uh, many years ago, actually. I was so impressed. He, uh, he was a, yeah, he was studying English. He lived in, I think, the UK for maybe two or three years and came back to his home country. But he wanted to continue uh, using English. So he had a one hour commute to and from work every day. This is a true story. And he created what he called uh, an on the way album post. <coughs> so for his everyday English study practice, he listened to an album, he, like, a, like a 60 minute, about one hour. So music, he listened to it. And then he wrote a social media post, like a review about the album. So he talked about each song on the album. He talked about the history of the album. So he was listening to new music, which was his hobby, and he was using English. So he made a bilingual social media post every single day, five days a week uh, on his commute. So that to me, that was amazing. Like he said, it was really hard actually, really, really hard to do. But I thought that was such a creative, a creative way uh, to combine his hobbies and his studies. Mm. So that's one idea, make a social media post. I like to do this too, actually. When I post on social media, I try to do it bilingually. I try to write my social media posts in English and in Japanese. That's one way for me to study. Uh, others, um, I'm looking for your questions. I don't see other questions yet. So a couple more ideas. Uh, write in an English only journal, write in an English only journal. This can be on your phone, it can be a physical journal, it can be something that you type uh, like on WordPress or another journal software. Uh, so write in an English only journal, that's another way to create. You're using vocabulary that you're learning, uh, maybe you can write about a recent news story, something like that, or you can use something that you heard in an audio lesson. So this is another idea uh, you can do, again, on your commute if you're not driving a car. So uh, write in an English only journal, that's something else you can do. Uh, and another idea read an English-only Twitter feed. So I've seen a lot of people, uh, I've seen some, some people have followed me on Twitter that's the, they make an English study account. I've seen this on Twitter, actually a couple on Instagram too. Uh, they make English-only or uh, like accounts specifically for their studies. So you can open that Twitter feed and check only things in English. So these are a couple of different ideas uh, for kind of more creatively using your language skills and developing your language skills. Um, all right, some other things. Variola says, can you tell me about audio, please? I talked about audio lessons in point number one. So if you missed it, you can check out some ideas for uh, studying with audio lessons. This is being recorded. So when we finish, you can go back and check out point number one. Uh, yeah, someone else says, how do I improve my listening? Please check point number one from today's lesson. I think that's uh, good for uh, listening specific tips. Uh, how to take notes fast while listening. Well, why, why do you need to no take notes fast? You can take notes and pause and take notes and pause as well. Like it's, it's okay to go at your own pace. It's okay to do that. Uh, some other, and if you have other ideas for your studies, yeah, we'll include, I'll include them here. So please feel free to send something along. Kay says, how about reading and listening to U.S. president's speeches? Um, it's something you can do, sure, but just keep in mind, speeches are very different from the way that we speak in everyday life. So you might get some interesting vocabulary. You might learn some specific vocabulary for politics and for government. Uh, but just keep in mind that it's different from the way that people talk uh, in everyday English. So, I mean, you can learn something, of course. Uh, someone says, can I learn using chat roulette? Mm, I really don't know. I would suggest maybe not using chat roulette. Like, I feel like it's better to do something to approach your studies, to study with some kind of material you've 
prepared or like you can kind of guess a little bit what what the other person is going to say. Uh, so mm, I don't know if chat roulette is the best the best way to study. Could be, I don't know. I have not used it, so I can't say. Uh, other ideas, other ideas. Uh, someone says, write, go slowly. I can't write. This video is being recorded. You can watch it back again. Uh, other points. Some people say, I can't understand songs. Well, some ideas. If you want to use music, if you want to use music, I'll include that here. Listen to music. If you want to include music in your studies, I would suggest, and if you can't understand the songs, Google the lyrics. Look for the lyrics of the songs. That's what I did when I first started studying Japanese. I couldn't understand the music. I had no idea what they were saying. So I Googled it and I had to find it in like English characters. And then I had to study the grammar and then I had to study vocabulary. So many different things. So if you can't understand the songs, Google the lyrics and then study the lyrics line by line. That is exactly what I did when I first started. That is a true story. That is exactly what I did. So that was my strategy to understand songs. But also keep in mind, not all songs in English use correct grammar. Sometimes we change the lyrics of the songs or we change the way we say words to fit the song. So please keep that in mind. Music in English is not perfect English or is not, what should I say? Music in English is not textbook English. Please keep that in mind. Other points, I don't see any. Oh, Masaya, hey Masaya on Facebook says, watching on YouTube with subtitles is very useful. Ah, oh, that's a great idea. I'll put that in number four. So watch YouTube, watch YouTube uh, videos with subtitles. Nice point, great. Of course, we have many. <laughs> of course, we have many, many YouTube videos with subtitles. So you can please watch our videos. We would be very happy uh, if you watched our videos. Yes, thanks, Masaya. Great tip, great tip. Why do words in English have 10 meanings? Not always do they have 10 meanings. Many words in many languages have many different meanings. So it's up to, it depends on the word. It depends on the word. Uh, okay. Someone says, in Discord, I talk every day with native people. Ah, yeah, Discord, that's another one. So I have not used Discord myself, but to my understanding, you can make communities. Have you used Discord? Yes, you can make communities. You can make communities with uh, maybe people who play the same video game as you or people who have the same hobby or interest as you. So that's another good one. All right, all right. Is, did they say Discord groups, Discord communities? I don't know the word they use on Discord. So Discord, chat. Discord chats, okay. Discord chats, that's a nice idea. Nice one, okay. Mm, other points, yeah, great ideas, everybody. I like that. Uh, Tiago also says, watch movies with subtitles. Yes, so I have YouTube, yeah, but watching movies with subtitles can be helpful also. Very nice ideas. Mm, all right, oh my, I am late, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so thank you for your ideas, everyone. Sorry, I got uh, excited about the chat, so <laughs> sorry about that. I have to finish, unfortunately, uh, but these are some ideas you can use for learning during your commute. So on your way to or on your way from, home from, uh, school or work. So I hope that you found some ideas, some new things you can do with just 10 or 15 minutes in your day. It adds up. You can do a lot of things over time. So we'll finish there for today, uh, but we will, of course, be back next week. Next week's topic is, yes, how to talk about your work with present perfect tense. Everybody always wants to practice present perfect tense. So <laughs> next week, I'm going to focus on talking about your work or your studies with present perfect tense. If you don't know present perfect tense, present perfect is like that. I have been, I have done, I have worked and so on. Next week, I probably won't talk a lot about present perfect continuous, but maybe we'll see. So join us next week. That will be December. Wow. December 5th, Wednesday, Wednesday, December 5th, uh, 2019, <laughs> 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is New York City time. If you don't know your local time, please Google it or set a notification on YouTube or Facebook so that you don't miss 
the video. So join us to talk about your work with a key grammar point next week. I will finish here for today. Please don't forget to check out this, the 51% off sale, our Black Friday sale. You can find the link below the video if you're watching on YouTube or above the video if you're watching on Facebook. If you're watching on Instagram, please check YouTube or Facebook to get your excellent deal. We will finish there. So thank you everybody for joining us as always live this week. We really appreciate it. And thank you very much for liking and for sharing the video too. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of your week. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye.